Hello everybody and welcome back to Quinn's Coins, your spot for hunting and fishing. <laughs> Today we're going to do another competition hunt. I know you guys love these. You keep requesting them every time I put them out. You tell me to make more. So we're going to do a competition hunt between myself and Kevin, and we're gonna do a box of pennies today. Now we've modified the rules a little bit since last time, so I'm gonna show you the new sheet of rules that we came up with. So let's take a look at that now. First of all, pretty much the same, we're gonna have wheat pennies coming in at five points. Old wheat pennies, which are the 10s, 20s, and 30s, much harder to find, are gonna come in at 10 points. Uh, if you find a 1909, it's gonna be worth 15 points. Indian head pennies are 30 points. Flying eagle pennies, which are very difficult to find, are worth 100 points. Steel pennies, 20 points. Low mintage, which is below 50 million, are also worth 20 points. Key dates are worth 50 points. And then we have some more modern stuff. 2009s are gonna be worth one point a piece. Foreign coins are worth three points. If you find a dime, which is very possible, you will get an extra nine points. And then we move into the Canadians. We have the Young Heads are worth five points. King George Fives are worth 10 points. The King George Fours are worth 20 points. And if you get a Canadian Steel Penny, unfortunately, you're going to be losing a point because those are worthless and we don't talk about those. So with that being said, guys, we're going to get right into this box. We're going to pick our rolls. So let's just pull this out right here. I want to show you guys this. This is kind of interesting. Um, these coins, which we just picked up at a bank like 20 minutes ago. I've never had a box like this before, but every single roll in this penny box is hand rolled, which means that some of them could be short, um, but it's really no big deal because they're pennies. But it's kind of a good thing because a lot of times when you find uh, customer wrapped rolls like this, they have a lot of good copper in them and they might have older coins like wheat pennies and stuff. So this could be a really good thing. So we're just gonna go ahead and pick our rolls randomly now and then we'll catch back up with you once we've done that. All right, so right off the bat, something pretty interesting while we are picking out these rolls. Uh, it looks like there's a name written on here. It says Walter, not Walter White. Oh, that, <laughs> Walter that would be White, sweet. right? Yeah. Uh, William White, right? Yeah, William White, and then there's a phone number here, so I, I crossed that out even darker than they yeah. originally was. I mean, this is all customer app rolls. It looks like someone uh, had these at one time and um, wanted to keep them, so that's the end of the box. We have our rolls picked out, so uh, I think it's time that we get right into this and see what we can find. So for my first roll, I think I'm going to go with one of the ones that isn't marked, and uh, Looks like you picked one of those red ones that is marked, so. I mean, we could just reuse these rolls. I just realized yeah. that. Wow, okay. We'll do that for sure. Oh, boy. What you got? No, you got a wheat uh, already? Right. Holy crap. That one looks old, too. Just cracked into my first roll, and I got a wheat penny right off the bat. This is awesome. So, it looks kind of yeah, old, a little bit higher. Looks kind of old. Let's see what yeah. we got here. 1940s. Oh so man, that that's... might be a rare date. Yeah, it's not 30, but it is a 1940. So we already have the book here open to the page, just in case we come up with something that we're not sure about. 1940s comes in at 112 million, so it's not a uh, low mintage coin, but it is going to count for 10, or no, not 10, five points, almost 10 points, but uh, that one's just going to count for five. So. Uh, we'll keep looking and see what else we can find. All right, guys, so as you probably noticed, we aren't gonna be counting our copper in the point system this time, just because it's probably gonna be pretty even, but we are gonna be pulling out our copper and showing you how much we find by the end, so uh, be ready for that. And right now, we're just gonna get into our second roll. I'm gonna pick one of those William White rolls because it looks like that one treated Kevin pretty well, so let's see what we can get. So right off the bat from this William White roll, I'm seeing a lot of copper. Uh, I don't see any wheat pennies yet, but it looks like we definitely have a possibility of finding one here. There's a 1960, so that's pretty cool. I do see some older Canadians in here. Uh, oh, hold up, there's a 19... <laughs> A 2001 steel cent, so really? it looks like before I even get on the board, I'm gonna go back one point. Uh, shoot, I'll just put that one aside. But there is a lot of copper in here, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, I've got 259s already. 259s. Oh, there's a 2009, so that takes me back out of the hole. Pretty nice. So it looks like this Canadian that I just found is a 1966. That's just two years away from being a young head Canadian, but... Yeah, I'll just throw it in the copper for now, I guess. All right, so that customer wrap roll produced 17 copper coins, which is a lot higher than we're normally used to seeing out of the boxes. So uh, it's really good to get these customer wrap rolls. I'm excited to get into the rest of these. Wait, what is that? Is that actually a dime? Oh! Are you serious? <laughs> Put that up here. I, th I knew this was gonna happen at some point. You guys see something different in there? Yeah. There's a reeded edge right there. Right yeah, there. I noticed that. <laughs> Dime. What's the year on it? It definitely, yeah. it's definitely clad. So let's yeah. check this out. 1977. Nine extra points. I, I knew that was gonna happen, <laughs> and that's why we put it on here. I know you guys probably thought nine, that was a little ridiculous. Nine but. points just for a dime. Yeah, nine points. That's so. almost two weeks. <laughs> All right, so that's 14 for Kevin, zero for me. Same rule as that dime. I found this really, really uh, beat up 
it's got to be a memorial because you can see the lateral lines across the penny right there. Yeah, you can tell that the sides, yeah. the, there's the head of Lincoln right yeah, there and Lincoln. then you can see the memorial. All right guys, these customer wrap rolls are going to end up being pretty interesting. I just poured this roll out and got the same situation going on that Kevin had. Check that out. We got a dime in the roll. And it's gonna be a, I mean, not that it matters, but it's a night or a 2000 Philadelphia dime. Actually a little bit offset, so that's kind of funny. Uh, we'll put that one aside and add three points to my, or three points, nine points to my score. So we'll see if we got anything else in this roll. All right guys, I just found this one face up and I saw the date immediately. It's a 1941 wheat penny, so nothing too special there, but it is worth five points, which brings me up to Kevin's exact score of 14. We got a wheat and a dime in the same roll, and we are doing well. So we are right back up there with him and still got a lot of the roll to look through. <laughs> this is so similar. Wait. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> How did I even miss this? That same roll had another dime in it. And it's, no, I'm just kidding, it's not silver. <laughs> Uh, 2006P, another nine points. This is gonna be an interesting game. Also, uh, got another mangled one. So we are very, very similar at this point. Um, I'm sure it's copper, it looks copper. So we'll throw it in the copper pile for now and uh, get on to the next roll. What do we have here? Oh, that's, that's gotta be a wheat. Yeah, it is. Hey, I just found something that's, first thing I saw when I pulled this roll open, uh, really mangled. I can see the Ooh. one cent on it though. Oh, that's, uh, that's okay, Kevin got something good too. Uh, I'll have to get back to you on the date on that one. That's really tough to see. I think it's a 54, but I'm not really sure. So we'll hold off on that one. Do you want to show them what you just yeah. found, Kevin? All right, so we just popped this old Canadian uh, tails down. So it's a 1957 and since it's not below 1953, it's not King George, but it is yeah. a young head. So young is. heads are worth five points. Sweet. So pretty much the same as finding a wheat penny. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll add five points to your score. That brings Kevin up to 19, and I have 23 after that second dime that I found, so we'll keep looking through this roll. All right, not a whole lot going on that roll either. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this one. I've been saving this one for a little bit. This is 50 cents, pennies on it, pretty cool design. And it's got that uh, writing on it, so hopefully this one's good for us. I'll go with another William White one. It's yeah. been on kind of a dry streak lately. Hopefully this turns it around. Yeah, the first one was good to us, so see if we can get some out of this. Score update, 24, 19. The next roll better have a weed in it. I'm gonna go with the triple diamond rolls this time and hopefully that gives me a little better luck. The triple dime is what I'm looking for right now. Oh, double. looks interesting. All right, let's see what we got. Hey, I got a 2009. Very nice. I see a Canadian, but I don't think it's anything good. A lot of these coins look like they're going through some weird chemical reactions. Kind of stuff that I don't really want to be touching right now. But they are producing a lot of copper, like around 15 coins. So that's what? That's 15 divided by 15. 15. Yeah, it's like 20. It's like 30%. 30% copper is pretty good. You don't get that very often. All right, these are really saving me now. I got my second young head. This one's a young, young head, 1963. It's about as young as they come. They ended in 1964, so pretty cool find right there. You are up to 24 points to my 25. Have you gotten any 2009s yet? Zero. Maybe you're just not looking hard enough. All right, my third 2009 came out of this roll, and it's actually uh, one of the ones that I haven't found so far. So there's Lincoln sitting there. I really should learn the names of these. <laughs> so there's, there's Lincoln sitting there. Uh, here he is standing by a building. And then here's that building. So one more point, 26 to 24 is our score. The very last coin that I got to in this roll, it would have been an ender if we could see the ends, but as you can see, they're closed off. These are customer wrapped and uh, just pulled it over. Saw this uh, wheat ender here, so let's see what we got. 1946, so pretty common date. Worth just five points for me. That brings my score up to 31, and Kevin's still at 24, so still a pretty close race at this point. We got about 10 more rolls to go, so let's see what we can get. I just pulled another 2009. Let's see if we got the one that I don't have yet. Nope, we got another one of big old tall Lincoln standing there by a building. So I guess here's one of the dangers of uh, getting customer wrapped rolls. You can see down here I'm holding them at the same level, but up here there's uh, probably a two or three penny difference in those rolls. I don't know, maybe one of them is long, maybe one of them is uh, has more than 50 in it, so I'll just give them the benefit of the doubt on that one. 
Let's go ahead and open the short one. Maybe they put something good in there for us. All right, that last roll just produced two more 2009s for me, so that's two points, but then I also got this steel Canadian penny right there. Uh, let's get that to focus in. 2000, so that one's made out of steel. So that brings me down to one point. Um, and that's all I got for the roll. Other than this one right here, it's a copper 1959, which is actually uh, pretty rare. And I think there might be a cud up here uh, on the head there. You can see the extra material, although it does look a little bit damaged around the O and God. So I'm not really sure on that one. I mean, it does look damaged, but at the same time, that's a lot of extra material up there on the head. So uh, if I could get you guys' opinions on that, that'd be really appreciated. Um, so pretty cool coin to find though. I'm gonna definitely put it aside. So we'll uh, keep looking. We got about five more rolls to go. Uh, the score is now 32 to 24. And uh, five more rolls to go. Let's get into it. All right, guys, we're down to our last roll each. Uh, my score is 32, Kevin's is 24. So he's gonna have to get something pretty good in this roll. We both saved the red rolls for last because uh, we've had the most luck in those. And so let's see what we can get. Hopefully there's some dimes in here. Um, if not, hopefully there's some wheats, but we haven't found a whole lot of wheats yet. So let's just wrap into it and uh, see what we can find. So there's, there's a good start. Nice yeah, shield. Nice, nice shiny shield on the end. All right, uh, I'm not seeing anything right off the bat. Sometimes you can see the edges poking through. I am able to pull out some copper here, but it's mostly um, just 80s stuff, not nothing too old. 79, that shouldn't be there. 77, 73, uh, not seeing a whole lot. Got an 82. Got to weigh that one. It is copper, though. Do you have anything in your roll, Kevin? Mm, no. Nothing yet. Just a couple coppers. Another 82. It is copper. 71. There's 70D. Tell them about the varieties you've been finding. Uh, or no. <laughs> not really. <laughs> It was an 82. Yeah, hey, I got 2009. <laughs> I am so amazed. I've got like 10 2009s this box and Kevin hasn't gotten any. Yet. I haven't found a single one. Right. Are you looking at mine now? I can't tell who's is. Oh! Oh, you got a wheat. Look at that. You didn't pull that one out of mine, did you? Is that a camera? Yeah, I think you Yeah. Look at that. You didn't pull no, that. No, wait, this is mine. <laughs> 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 okay. Good thing, we're, good thing this is not a camera. <laughs> okay, so this is mine then? Yeah, I'll take that one. No, <laughs> give me that. What is that? 78. All right, yeah. I don't have anything else in my roll. So, Kevin, if that's a good wheat, then you are in luck. Yeah, so, man. keep yours to yourself, yeah, bro. Man. So, I guess my final score is 33, but then you'd have to add that other one that I got. So, we'll just say 33 for now. You're at 24, so if you can get... If, you, if this is worth 10 points, then you'll be above me. Unfortunately, so, it looks pretty, uh, looks pretty yeah, nice. Yeah, it definitely looks newer. So I'd say it's a 50s, but let's be hopeful here. Yeah. 1952 50. Denver. Yeah, okay. So. so that brings your score up to 29. And since this is the very last roll, I guess we'll just go ahead and add this one in that I found a little bit earlier. It's really, really messed up. I think, I mean, I looked at it a little bit more and I'm pretty sure it's a 1954. So we'll just count it for five points. That brings me up to 38. And here's your final score. Kevin at 29 and Ryan at 38. So, and I got this bird sent with 10 points. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> that would put you up there though, that'd be nice. So guys, you've seen that bird scent. You've seen us find them uh, metal detecting before. You've seen us find them in the rolls. Do you think that they should be worth anything? Comment down below. That's the centennial year, the 100 year anniversary of Canada becoming a nation in 1967. So uh, comment down below if you think that should be worth anything. And uh, you'd definitely be helping Kevin out on this one. All right, so hey, thanks yeah. for coming on the show again. Uh, we always have a good time. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new because we post new videos every single week. And as always, I'm Quinn. And this is Quince Coins signing out. I will see you guys in the next episode.